Germany, a nation filled with tales of knights, emperors, and grandeur. Their legacy is beautifully preserved in the numerous castles scattered throughout the country, each offering a unique glimpse into a bygone era. From the dramatic clifftop fortress of Elts Castle to the whimsical fairy tale like Neuschwanstein Castle, let's quickly explore 25 of these magnificent German castles. Number 25. Falsgrafenstein Castle. Also known as Falls Castle is a medieval castle situated on the Rhine River in Germany. It is located on a small island called Fockenau near the town of Kolb in the Rhineland Palatinate region. This castle is particularly distinctive because it stands on a rocky island in the middle of the Rhine River. It was built in the early 14th century, around 1326, and its primary purpose was to control and collect tolls from passing ships on the Rhine River. The strategic location on the river made it an effective toll station. The castle has a unique triangular shape, adapting to the shape of the island. Its design and location made it difficult for ships to navigate past without paying the toll. Its isolated location on the island made it an effective toll collection point. Access to the castle was only possible by boat and the castle had a chain mechanism that could be raised to block the passage of ships until tolls were paid. Number 24. Marksburg Castle. This is a medieval fortress located in the town of Braubach. Marksburg is one of the few castles along the Rhine River that has never been destroyed, making it an excellent example of a well-preserved medieval fortress. The castle has a history dating back to the 12th century when it was built by the Archbishop of Mainz. It served as a protective fortress for the surrounding region and as a toll station for river traffic on the Rhine. It features a central keep and various residential buildings. The keep served as the last line of defense, while the residential structures housed the castle's inhabitants. The castle houses a museum with exhibits on medieval weapons, armor, and daily life in a castle. The museum provides additional context to the historical significance of Marksburg. Number 23. Hambach Castle. This is a historic castle located near the town of Neustadt in der Weinstrasse in Rhineland-Palatinate. Hambach Castle has a history dating back to the early medieval period. The castle played a role in various historical events, but it is most famously associated with the Hambacher Fest of 1832. The Hambacher Fest was a significant event in German history and a symbol of the democratic and liberal movements of the 19th century. In 1832, thousands of people from different regions gathered at Hambach Castle to advocate for political freedoms, national unity, and democracy. The participants, dressed in a variety of colorful attire, celebrated the festival as a symbol of unity and shared ideals. The current appearance of Hambach Castle is the result of renovations and reconstructions over the years. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including elements of Romanesque and Gothic architecture. Number 22. Vischering Castle. Also known as Berg Vischering, is a well-preserved modern castle located in Ludinghausen, North Rhine-Westphalia. It was built in the 13th century, between 1271 and 1275, by the Bishop of Munster. The castle was constructed as a fortress to protect against feuds and attacks. The castle is a prime example of a typical Westphalian water castle. It features a central keep surrounded by a water-filled moat, drawbridge, and defensive walls. The design was intended for both defensive purposes and residential use. Over the centuries, the castle underwent various renovations and modifications. In the 16th century, it was updated with Renaissance elements, and further restoration work took place in the 19th century. Castle Vischering is known for its well-preserved medieval architecture. The castle retains its original character, with fortified walls, towers, and a gatehouse. The moat that surrounds the castle adds to its picturesque appearance. Number 21. Albrechtsburg Castle. This is a medieval castle located in the town of Meissen along the Elbe River in the Saxony region of Germany. Albrechtsburg Castle has a rich history that dates back to the 15th century. 
It was built between 1471 and 1524 during the reign of Elector Frederick II of Saxony. The castle is considered one of the first and oldest examples of a castle built specifically as a residence for rulers in Germany. The castle is an exemplary representation of late Gothic architecture. It features elements such as pointed arches, ribbed vaults, and intricate stone carvings. The architectural design reflects both the Gothic and Renaissance styles. In the 18th century, the castle played a role in the production of mice and porcelain. The mice and porcelain manufactory was established within the castle walls, and it became famous for producing high-quality porcelain, often referred to as white gold. Albrechtsburg Castle, along with the Meissen Cathedral and the Meissen Porcelain Manufactory, is part of the historic center of Meissen, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 20. Zwinger Palace. This is a Baroque palace complex located in the heart of Dresden. Zwinger Palace was built in the early 18th century during the reign of Augustus the Strong, Elector of Saxony and King of Poland. The palace complex was designed as a place for court festivities, tournaments, and cultural events. The main architects involved in the construction of Zwinger Palace were Matthias Daniel Poppelmann and Balthasar Permoser. The palace is considered one of the finest examples of Baroque architecture in Germany. The palace features a symmetrical layout with four pavilions at the corners connected by galleries. The architecture incorporates elements such as galleries, arcades, and decorative sculptures. The design reflects a fusion of Baroque, Rococo, and Neoclassical styles. Zwinger Palace is surrounded by large courtyards and gardens. The Nymphenbad, a Baroque water feature, and the Crown Gate are notable elements within the complex. The gardens are adorned with sculptures, fountains, and floral arrangements. Number 19. Liechtenstein Castle. Also known as Schloss Liechtenstein, is a fairy tale like castle situated on a cliff overlooking the Eckes Valley near Hono in the Swabian Jura of Barden Wirtemberg. The castle is often referred to as the fairy tale castle of Wirtemberg due to its romantic and picturesque appearance. The current Liechtenstein Castle was built in the 19th century between 1840 and 1842 by Duke Wilhelm of Urach. It was constructed on the site of a medieval castle that had been destroyed during the Swabian War in 1311. The castle is designed in a romanticized medieval style, taking inspiration from the Romanticism movement of the 19th century. The architecture mimics the fairy tale castles depicted in Romantic literature and is characterized by towers, turrets, and a drawbridge. It is perched on a steep cliff, providing breathtaking views of the surrounding Swabian Jura and the Eckes Valley. Liechtenstein Castle is often associated with Wilhelm Hoff's novella, Liechtenstein, which contributed to the romanticized image of the castle. The novella tells the fictional story of the medieval knight Ulrich of Liechtenstein. Number 18. Sigmaringen Castle. This is a historic castle located in the town of Sigmaringen in the Swabian Alb region of Baden-Württemberg. Sigmaringen Castle is situated on a rocky outcrop overlooking the Danube River in the town of Sigmaringen in the southwestern part of Germany. The history of Sigmaringen Castle dates back to the 11th century when it was first mentioned in historical records. The castle underwent various modifications and expansions over the centuries. The castle is characterized by a mix of architectural styles, including medieval, Renaissance, and Baroque elements. The castle complex includes a keep, residential buildings, courtyards, and defensive walls. The castle served as the ancestral seat of the princely Hohenzollern Sigmaringen family. The castle became their residence in the 16th century and they continued to play a significant role in the history of the region. The castle's position on a rocky promontory provides scenic views of the surrounding landscape, including the town of Sigmaringen and the Danube River. Number 17. Rheinstein Castle. This is a medieval castle located on the bank of the Rhine River in Germany. The castle is situated near the town of Trechtingshausen in the Rhineland Palatinate region. Rheinstein Castle is known for its picturesque setting and is one of the many castles that line the Rhine Gorge, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
The castle has a rich history dating back to the early 14th century and it has undergone various renovations and changes over the centuries. It was in a state of ruin for some time but was eventually restored in the 19th century by Prince Frederick of Prussia. The restoration aimed to romanticize the castle, aligning with the 19th century enthusiasm for medieval architecture. The castle is open to the public, you can explore its grounds, towers, and rooms. The castle offers panoramic views of the Rhine River and the surrounding vineyards. It's also a popular destination for those cruising along the Rhine. Number 16. Wartburg Castle. This is a medieval castle situated on a hill above the town of Eisenach in Thuringia. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is renowned for its historical significance, architectural charm, and association with key figures in German history. The castle has a rich history dating back to the 11th century. It gained prominence in the 12th century as a residence of the Thuringian Landgraves and later as a place of refuge for Martin Luther. One of the most significant events associated with Wartburg Castle is Martin Luther's stay there in 1521 to 1522. During this period, Luther translated the New Testament of the Bible into German, a translation that played a crucial role in the development of the German language. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance elements. Its various buildings and courtyards reflect the evolution of the castle over the centuries. Number 15. Berghausen Castle. This is one of the largest and most well-preserved medieval castles in Europe. It is located in the town of Berghausen in Bavaria, Germany, near the border with Austria. The castle has a rich history dating back to the 11th century. It was initially built as a fortress to secure the border and control trade routes. Over the centuries, it was expanded and modified by various rulers. Berghausen Castle holds the Guinness World Record for the longest castle complex in the world with a total length of over 1,051 meters. It consists of multiple interconnected castle buildings and defensive walls. It features a mix of architectural styles including Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque elements. The different sections of the castle represent the various periods of construction and renovation. The castle includes numerous towers, gates, and walls designed for defensive purposes. The castle's strategic location on a ridge overlooking the Salzach River and the town of Berghausen contributed to its defensive capabilities. Number 14. Braunfels Castle. This is a medieval castle located in the town of Braunfels, Hesse. The castle has a history dating back to the 13th century. The original fortress was constructed in the early 1200s and it has undergone several expansions and renovations over the centuries. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque elements. The diverse styles reflect the castle's long history and the changes made by different generations of builders. It has a well-preserved inner courtyard surrounded by residential and ceremonial buildings. Braunfels Castle is situated on a hill overlooking the town of Braunfels. Its elevated position provides panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. Number 13. Charlottenburg Palace. This is a grand royal palace located in Berlin. It is the largest palace in Berlin and is a significant historical and cultural landmark. The palace was originally built in the late 17th century as a summer residence for Elector Frederick III, who later became King Frederick I of Prussia. The palace has undergone various expansions and renovations over the centuries. The palace reflects a mix of architectural styles, including Baroque and Rococo. The original construction was influenced by the design of Dutch and English palaces and subsequent additions contributed to its grandeur. It features a large courtyard, known as the Great Courtyard, which is surrounded by the main palace building and the new wing. The courtyard is often used for events and celebrations. The palace is surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens that include flower beds, sculptures, and walking paths. Number 12. Moritzburg Castle. This is a Baroque palace located near Dresden in the German state of Saxony. Moritzburg Castle has a history dating back to the 16th century when it was originally built as a hunting lodge. 
It underwent significant expansions and renovations in the 18th century under Elector Frederick Augustus I of Saxony, who later became King Augustus II of Poland. The castle is a fine example of Baroque architecture and is surrounded by a large artificial lake. Its design is attributed to the architect Matthias Daniel Poppelmann and the interiors feature opulent Rococo decorations. Originally built as a hunting lodge for electors and kings, Moritzburg Castle served as a venue for hunting parties and festivities. The lake and surrounding woods were used for hunting and falconry. Number 11. Lohenborg Castle. Lohenborg translates to Lion's Castle in English. There are several castles with this name across Europe. However, one particularly well-known Lohenborg Castle is located in Castle. It is situated on a large park in Castle. The Burpark Wilhelm Show is known for its Baroque and landscape design and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The castle was built in the early 19th century by Landgrave Wilhelm IX of Hesse Castle. It was constructed between 1793 and 1801 in the style of a medieval knight's castle. The intention was to create a romantic, picturesque structure within the landscape park. It is designed in the Gothic Revival style, imitating the appearance of a medieval fortress. It features crenellated walls, towers, and other architectural elements reminiscent of medieval castles. Unlike many medieval castles, Lohenborg was not built for defensive purposes. Instead, it served as a residential palace and a symbol of the romantic fascination with the medieval past that was prevalent during the Romantic era. The castle is part of the larger Burpark Wilhelm Show, which includes water features, statues, and other architectural elements. The park is designed to create a harmonious and picturesque landscape. Number 10. Marienburg Castle. Marienburg Castle in Hanover, also known as Schloss Marienburg or Marienburg Castle of the Guelphs, is a notable castle located near the town of Pattinson, south of Hanover, in Lower Saxony. The castle was built in the mid-19th century as a birthday gift from King George V of Hanover to his wife, Queen Marie. The construction took place between 1858 and 1867. The castle is an impressive example of Romantic historicism and Neo-Gothic architecture. It was designed by the architect Conrad Wilhelm Hayes, and its architectural style was influenced by medieval fortresses. The castle features towers, turrets, and decorative elements reminiscent of a fairy tale castle. Marienburg Castle served as a summer residence for the Royal House of Hanover. It was intended to be a private retreat for Queen Marie, who was known for her love of the arts. It is lavishly decorated both inside and outside. The interior features richly furnished rooms, including the Queen's Salon, the King's Room, and the Knight's Hall. The furnishings reflect the taste and style of the 19th century European aristocracy. Number 9. Kochum Castle. Also known as Reichsburg Kochum, is a medieval fortress located on a hill overlooking the Moselle River in the town of Kochum, Rhineland Palatinate. Kochum Castle has a history dating back to the 11th century, although the current structure is largely a result of reconstructions and renovations carried out in the 19th century. It has served as the imperial castle for the Palatinate region during the medieval period. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance elements. The most extensive renovations were done by a Berlin businessman, Louis Frederick Jacques Ravine, in the 19th century, giving the castle its picturesque and fairy tale appearance. The castle's location and the picturesque Moselle Valley make it a popular destination for tourists exploring the scenic wine region. Number 8. Wainigeroda Castle. This is a medieval castle located in the town of Wainigeroda in the Harz Mountains of Saxony-Anhalt. The castle has a history dating back to the Middle Ages. The original castle was constructed in the 12th century, and over the centuries it underwent expansions, renovations, and modifications. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque and Gothic elements. It consists of a complex of buildings, including the main castle, a keep, towers, and residential structures. The castle underwent significant renovations in the 19th century during the Romantic period, giving it a picturesque appearance.
The castle is situated on a hill overlooking the town of Wenigeroda. Its elevated position provides panoramic views of the surrounding Harz Mountains. Number 7. Hohenschwangau Castle. This castle is a 19th century castle located in the Bavarian Alps of Germany near the town of Fussen. It is situated on a hill above the village of Hohenschwangau and is known for its picturesque setting and views of the surrounding landscape. The castle was constructed in the 19th century, specifically in the 1830s by King Maximilian II of Bavaria. It was built on the site of the medieval fortress Schwanstein and served as the childhood residence of Maximilian's son, the future King Ludwig II of Bavaria. The castle is designed in a romanticized Gothic style and it includes elements of medieval architecture. The exterior features decorative murals and ornamentation. The interior is adorned with richly decorated rooms and furnishings. It was used as a summer and hunting residence for the royal family. It played a significant role in the upbringing of Ludwig II, who would later become known for building the iconic Neuschwanstein Castle nearby. Number 6. Elts Castle. Berg Elts, commonly known as Elts Castle, is a medieval castle located in the hills above the Moselle River between Koblenz and Trier in Germany. The castle is known for its picturesque setting in the Elts Forest and its well-preserved medieval architecture. Elts Castle has a history dating back to the 12th century. Unlike many castles in Germany, it has never been destroyed and it has been owned by the same family for over 850 years. The castle is still owned by the Elts family, who reside in a portion of the castle while the rest is open to the public. The castle is a prime example of medieval architecture. It consists of multiple towers, turrets, and wings built in a Romanesque and Gothic style. The castle is situated on a rock surrounded on three sides by the Elsbach River, contributing to its strategic and defensive position. The interior of Elts Castle features well-preserved rooms and chambers showcasing various architectural styles from different periods. Number 5. Sanssouci Palace. This is a Rococo-style palace located in Potsdam, near Berlin. It is renowned for its architecture, stunning gardens, and historical significance. Sanssouci Palace was built by Frederick the Great, King of Prussia, as a summer residence. Construction began in 1745, and the palace was completed in 1747. The name, Sanssouci, is French and means, without worries, reflecting Frederick's desire for a carefree retreat. Sanssouci Palace features a single-story main building with a central dome flanked by two symmetrical wings. The exterior is characterized by elegant details, including pilasters, statues, and ornate decorations. The palace is surrounded by the extensive Sanssouci Park, a vast landscape designed in the style of an English garden. The park features terraced vineyards, flowerbeds, fountains, and various architectural structures. Sanssouci Palace and Park are UNESCO World Heritage Sites and are considered prime examples of European Rococo architecture and garden design. Number 4. Heidelberg Castle. This is a famous landmark located on the northern slope of the Konigstall Hill overlooking the city of Heidelberg in baden württemberg the construction of Heidelberg Castle began in the early 13th century and continued over several centuries. The castle served as the residence of the Electors Palatine, important rulers of the Holy Roman Empire. The castle exhibits a combination of architectural styles, including Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque elements. The castle complex includes the Friedrich Building, the Ottheinrich Building, the English Building, and the Rupprecht Building, each reflecting the architectural preferences of the time. The castle offers stunning panoramic views of the Neckar River Valley and the city of Heidelberg. Number 3. Schwerin Castle. This is a historic castle located on an island in Lake Schwerin in the city of Schwerin, the capital of Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. 
The castle is known for its stunning architecture and is often referred to as the Neuschwanstein of the North. The origins of Schwerin Castle date back to the 10th century when a Slavic fortification stood on the site. The current castle was built during the Renaissance and Baroque periods, with construction starting in the late 16th century. Schwerin Castle is a blend of architectural styles, including Renaissance, Baroque, and Romantic elements. The castle underwent significant renovations in the 19th century, giving it a picturesque and fairy tale appearance. Schwerin Castle served as the residence of the Grand Dukes of Mecklenburg-Schwerin. It played a significant role in the political and cultural history of the region. The castle is surrounded by landscaped gardens and a park designed in the English Romantic style. The park includes sculptures, walking paths, and a view of the lake. Schwerin Castle stands as a remarkable example of historic architecture and is a cultural and tourist attraction in Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. Number 2. Hohenzollern Castle This is a prominent and historic castle located atop Mount Hohenzollern in the Swabian Alps of Bard and Wirthurmberg. The castle is associated with the House of Hohenzollern, a German dynasty that played a significant role in European history. The original castle was constructed in the 11th century and the current structure is the third castle built on the site. It was rebuilt in the mid-19th century after the original castle fell into disrepair. The castle showcases a mix of architectural styles, blending elements of Gothic revival and neo-Gothic styles. Its imposing towers, crenellated walls, and strategic hilltop location contribute to its majestic appearance. Today, Hohenzollern Castle operates as a museum, so you can explore its various rooms and learn about the history of the Hohenzollern family. Number 1. Neuschwanstein Castle This is one of the most famous and iconic castles in the world. Located in the Bavarian Alps near the town of Fusen, it was commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria and was built in the 19th century. The castle's construction began in 1869 and was not completed before Ludwig's death in 1886. Neusch von Stein Castle is renowned for its fairy tale like appearance, with its picturesque setting on a rugged hill and its architectural inspiration drawn from medieval German knights' castles. The castle's design was influenced by the operatic works of composer Richard Wagner, whom King Ludwig II admired. You can explore its stunning interiors, including the throne hall, singers' hall, and various ornate rooms. The castle also offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscapes and the nearby Hohenschwangau Castle. Here comes the end of this journey. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, happy travels.